Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss what is singular value decomposition with the help of simple solid example. In the previous video, I have solved two examples using square matrices, but in this video, I will consider rectangular matrix to understand what is singular value decomposition. This is given rectangular matrix. On this, we will find the singular value decomposition. To find the SVD, we use the following formula that is SVD of A which is equal to multiplication of U, Sigma and transpose of V. Here U is the left singular matrix, Sigma is a singular matrix, transpose of V is a right singular matrix. Now we will find each of these matrices. The given matrix is in the form of rectangular matrix. But whenever we are performing the singular value decomposition, the matrix must be in the square form. First we will convert this rectangular matrix into square matrix by using following formula that is x is equal to multiplication of transpose of a into a we know the a matrix we will do the transpose of a once you do the matrix multiplication that is first row is multiplied with first column and first row is multiplied with second column first row is multiplied with third column similarly second row with first column second row with second column, second row with third column and third row with first column, third row with second column, third row with third column. We will get the answer like 10, 4, 0, 4, 8, minus 8, 0, minus 8, 10. Once you find the square matrix, the next step is to find the eigenvalues. To find the eigenvalues, we use a characteristic equation that is determinant of x minus lambda i here we know the value of x we know the value of i that is a identity matrix here diagonal values are 1 and remaining are 0 and once you put those values in this equation we will get like this once you simplify these two matrices we will get 10 minus lambda 4 0 4 8 minus lambda minus 8 0 minus 8 10 minus lambda the next step is to find the determinant of this matrix. This is a 3 cross 3 matrix. Whenever we are finding the determinant of 3 cross 3 matrix, we will consider the first row values. And whenever we consider the first value of the first row matrix, that time we will eliminate the first row and first column and next we will find the determinant of remaining values. That is written here. It means 10 minus lambda which is multiplied with these two values minus these two values which is written here and minus why it is minus because in the matrix form this is plus minus plus so it will become minus and whenever we are considering the second element of the first row that time we will eliminate first row and second column so we will find the determinant of remaining element we will get 4 which is multiplied with 4 10 minus lambda minus 0 which is equal to 0. When we expand this equation we will get something like this and when we simplify this equation we will get like this that is lambda cube minus 28 lambda square plus 180 lambda which is equal to 0. In this lambda is common so we will take outside the bracket then we will get lambda square minus 28 lambda plus 180 which is equal to 0 and this lambda will be equivalent to 0 so we will get first lambda value as a 0 then we need to find the remaining two values by using this equation and uh, when you multiply 10 into 18 we will get 180 when you add 10 plus 18 we will get 28 so we will get lambda is equal to 10 and lambda is equal to 18 for this equation so finally we will get the lambda values as 0 10 and 18 once you find the eigenvalues, the next step is to find the eigenvectors. Before finding the eigenvectors, whatever the eigenvalues we are getting, we need to arrange them in a decreasing order. That is, first we will take as 18, then 10, then 0. Now we will find the first eigenvector using the lambda value which is equal to 18. We know the formula to find the eigenvector that is x minus lambda into i multiplied with first eigenvector. First eigenvector V0 can be represented in the form of V01, V02 and V03. We know the value of x, we know the value of lambda, we know the value of i. Once you put those values in this equation, we will get 
like this and once you do the subtraction of these two matrices we will get this matrix and next step is to multiply these two matrices that is by using the matrix multiplication we know matrix multiplication first row is multiplied with first column second row is multiplied with first column third row is multiplied with first column once you do that one we will get equation as minus 8 phi 0 1 plus 4 into phi 0 2 plus 0 which is equal to 0 and for the second row 4 into phi 0 1 minus 10 into phi 0 2 minus 8 into phi 0 3 and for the third row 0 into phi 0 1 which is 0 minus 8 into phi 0 2 minus 8 into phi 0 3 which is equal to 0 and we will make these as equation number 1 equation number 2 and equation number 3 by using the equation number we can find uh, minus 8 v 0 1 which is equal to minus 4 v 0 2 and uh, to find the v 0 1 which is equal to 4 divided by 8 v 0 2 once we simplify which is get 1 divided by 2 v 0 2 and from the equation 3 we will get v 0 2 which is equal to minus v 0 3 now we will assume v 0 3 as 1 then we will get v 0 2 is equal to minus v 0 3 that is minus 1 and v 0 1 is equal to 1 divided by v 0 2 that is minus 1 so we will get v 0 1 which is equal to minus 1 divided by 2 the first eigenvector is minus 1 by 2 minus 1 and 1 similarly we will find the second eigenvector by using the eigenvalue that is lambda is equal to 10 already we know the formula to find the eigenvectors in this we know the values of x lambda and i phi 1 is a second eigenvector this can be represented as phi 1 1 phi 1 2 and phi 1 3 and once you put those values in this equation we will get these two matrices and once you simplify these two matrices we will get this matrix now we need to do the matrix multiplication by using the matrix multiplication that is first row is multiplied with first column for the first row 0 4 into v 1 2 which is equal to 0 and for the second row 4 into v 1 1 minus 2 into v 1 2 minus 8 into v 1 3 and for the third column minus 8 into v 1 2 which is equal to 0 we will make these as equation number 1 equation number 2 and equation number 3 from the equation 1 we know that v12 which is equal to 0 and once you put v12 which is equal to 0 in equation number 2 we will get 4 v11 minus 8 v13 which is equal to 0 then 4 v11 which is equal to 8 v13 once you simplify this we will get v11 is equal to 8 divided by 4 v13 which is equal to 2 v13 now we will assume v13 which is equal to 1 then v11 which is equal to 2 and the second eigen vector will be 2 0 and 1 similarly we will find the third eigen vector with the help of lambda is equal to 0 we know the formula to find the eigen vectors here we will put all those values and here v2 is a third eigen vector can be represented as v21 v22 and v23 once you put those values here we will get these two matrices once you simplify these two matrices we will get this matrix the next step is to multiply these two matrix that is the matrix multiplication row is multiplied with first column of the second matrix 10 into v21 plus 4 into v22 4 into v21 8 into v22 minus 8 into v23 0 into v21 is 0 minus 8 into v22 plus 10 into v23 which is equal to 0 so we will make this one as equation number 1 equation number 2 equation number 3 by equation number we will get 10 v21 which is equal to minus 4 v22 once you simplify this one we will get v21 which is equal to minus 4 divided by 10 v22 and from equation 3 we will get 8 v22 which is equal to 10 v23 and uh, v22 which is equal to 10 divided by 8 v23 now we will assume v23 as a 1 so we will get v23 is equal to 1 v22 is equal to 5 divided by 4 and v21 which is equal to minus 1 divided by 2 hence the third eigenvector will be minus 1 divided by 2 
5 divided by 4 and 1. Once you find the eigenvector, next step is to find the normalized eigenvector. To find the normalized eigenvector, we use the following formula that is eigenvector divided by length of eigenvector. The length of eigenvector can be calculated as square root of sum of square of individual element. Now we will find the first normalized eigenvector that is V0. Here it is a first eigenvector divided by length of first eigenvector. Then we will get the first normalized eigenvector as minus 1 divided by 3, minus 2 divided by 3 and 2 divided by 3. The next we will find the second normalized eigenvector by using the eigenvector as 2, 0 and 1. So this is a second eigenvector. This is the length of the second eigenvector. Then we will get the second normalized eigenvector V1 as 2 divided by square root of 5, 0, 1 divided by square root of 5. The next we will find the third normalized eigenvector by using the eigenvector V2 that is minus 1 divided by 2, 5 divided by 4 and 1. Here it is a third eigenvector. This is the length of the third eigenvector. Once you simplify this, we will get third normalized eigenvector that is V2 which is equal to minus 2 divided by 3 into square root of 5, square root of 5 divided by 3, 4 divided by 3 into square root of 5. Once you have combined these three normalized eigenvectors, we will get V is equal to this matrix. Here the first column is a first normalized eigenvector, second column is a second normalized eigenvector, third column is third normalized eigenvector. Once we find the V value, the next step is to find the U vector that is left singular matrix. To find the U vector, we will use the following formula that is UI is equal to a into vi divided by length of a into vi. Here a is the given matrix, vi is the eigenvector. By using the first eigenvector that is v0, we can find the u0. So, first we will find a into v0. Here this is a first eigenvector and this is a given vector. So, once you do the matrix multiplication, we will get a into v0 which is equal to 3 and minus 3. Next, we will find the length of a into v0 which is equal to square root of square of sum of individual element which is equal to 18 in this case. We found the value of a into v0 and length of a into v0. The next step is to find the u0 that is this divided by this answer. So, we will get u0 which is equal to 3 into square root of 2. So, 3, 3 will get cancelled, we will get 1 divided by root 2. And similarly, minus 3 divided by 3 into root 2. So, 3, 3 will get cancelled, we will get minus 1 divided by root 2 as a u0. Next, we will find u1 by using the v1 vector, that is second eigenvector. First, we will find a into v1. This is a given matrix. This is a second eigenvector. Once you do the matrix multiplication, we will get a into v0, which is equal to square root of 5 and square root of 5. Now, we will find the length of a into v1, which is equal to uh, square root of 10. The square root of 10 can be written as root 2 into root 5. The next step is to find the u1, which is equal to a into v1 divided by length of a into v1. So, square root of 5 divided by square root of 2 into square root of 5 which is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 and square root of 5 divided by square root of 2 into square root of 5 which is equal to 1 divided by square root of 2. Next, we will find u2 values by using the v2 values that is a third eigenvector we will get 0. Once you find the u0, u1 and u2 then we will find the u matrix. Here the first column is u0, second column is u1 and third column is u2. Once you find the left singular matrix, the next step is to find sigma vector that is singular matrix. Sigma vector is a square root of eigenvalues and its values are singular and those values are placed diagonally. We know the first eigenvalue that is 18 and uh, here we will write square root of 18. The second eigenvector is 10 and here we will write square root of 10 and third eigen is 0. Now we know the value of u, sigma and uh, v. Now we will reconstruct the matrix of A by using these three matrices by using the following formula that is A is equal to multiplication of u, sigma, transpose of v. 
we know the value of v here we will write transpose of v and uh, once you put those values here we will get equation like this once you solve these two matrices we will get this matrix and this is multiplied with the transpose of v then we will get final answer as 1 minus 2 3 3 2 minus 1 this is the original matrix uh, if you get the original matrix then the singular value decomposition is correct this is how we can find the singular value decomposition for the given matrix i hope the concept of singular value decomposition is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching